What up, nerds? It was at this moment Dimitri knew. He fucked up. Hello there and welcome back to the wonderful game known as Battlefield Hardline. Today's video is all about the ACWR, which is awesome by the way. If you haven't seen it yet, you really need to check this thing out. Enemy AC-130 That's wrong. Our AC-130 is in the air. I said ACWR, not AC-130. Oh, whoops, sorry bro, my bad, my bad. The ACWR, or as I like to call it, the AC-Dub Assault Rifle is a weapon for the Operator class that can only be unlocked by either pre-ordering the game or via the Deluxe Edition. So at this point, you can either just buy said Deluxe Edition or, I mean, you could go back in time and pre-order if you want. Don't laugh, man, I believe in time travel. I met some Lithuanian dude once that was able to do it. I think. Maybe. Now before I say anything else, my first piece of advice is to not bother grinding out a thousand kills with this weapon in order to get the gold camo. The whole reason that I say that is because the bronze, silver, and gold camo options look a little odd on this weapon. Check this out. Okay, so it's at default right now. Now watch, watch what happens when- Okay, I'm gonna scroll down and check out bronze. Check this one out. Ta-da! Yeah, the only pieces of the weapon that actually become bronze, silver, or gold are the iron sights, the barrel, and a few pins. That's it. Not to worry though, if you equip something like green zebra or maybe snakeskin like I'm rocking right now, it still covers most of the weapon. Just don't plan on pumping out a thousand kills with this baby and expecting that you'll have some kind of swagged out AR, because it's not gonna happen. Now I think the easiest way to describe the AC dub is to call it upper middle class, as in it's a very effective assault rifle but it's not quite quite top tier like the M416, M16, or AK. And taking a brief look at the stats of the weapon will explain why. The ACWR deals a max damage of 25 out to 25 meters, falling down to 15 damage at ranges at or beyond 50 meters. It fires at a rate of 800 rounds per minute, has very minimal recoil with a tactical reload of 2 seconds and an empty reload of 2.2 seconds. So essentially, it's a laser beam assault rifle that kills quickly and reloads rapidly. But just to briefly fill you in as to why so many people prefer to use the M416 or M16 instead of the ACWR, it's actually pretty simple to understand. Both the M416 and the M16 not only deal more damage than the ACWR, but they happen to deal this greater damage over a longer distance. So when the M416 and M16 fire at 850 and 800 rounds per minute respectively, it's pretty obvious that they're slightly more lethal. But keep in mind that in close quarters with all three of these weapons, you still need four shots to put down an enemy. So they all have moderately similar times to kill with the M416 obviously winning out. But as the engagement ranges get longer, that's when the ACWR tends to suffer. So in a nutshell, when it comes to comparing these two assault rifles to the ACWR, you are trading less damage and less range in exchange for much less recoil and faster reload times. And that is in fact one of the major perks of the ACWR, the amazing reload times. With a tactical reload time of just 2 seconds and an empty reload time of 2.2 seconds, this weapon reloads faster than any other assault rifle, and that's why I love running it on servers with higher player counts because I can easily put down a couple enemies duck behind cover while rapidly changing mags and immediately get back to firing and it gets so terrifying once you get the tier 4 reputation perk of fast reload it's like you've got some kind of massive jazz hands syndrome or something it's scary now moving beyond the stats and towards my general opinion about the weapon, I think the softest way to describe it to you is I like it more than the M16, but less than the M416. Just because it seemed like almost every engagement that I had in close quarter situations on maps like Hollywood Heights or Grow House, I was always just a sliver away from taking down that mechanic with his SMG, but not quite. 
I'd always get him down to maybe 10 or 15 health, one bullet away, but I could never actually put him down consistently. It was quite a challenge. So, in many close quarter situations where I can get away with using an assault rifle, and still pawn on scrubs with the M416, I couldn't quite do the same thing with the AC Dove, sadly. I, I cry every time, but the one feature that I do absolutely adore about the rifle is the accuracy. And I know this is a, a bit of a topic for debate in Hardline. Like, I know so many of you lecture each other on forums over and over and over again about how nearly all the weapons in Hardline have extremely low recoil, but the ACWR takes that a step further. So even though I consider all of the assault rifles except for the AKM to have low recoil in the operator class, the ACWR is among the lowest of the low. So I'm not kidding at all when I say this thing is an absolute laser beam. I can easily recall examples where I could virtually just hold down the trigger for extended bursts without compensating for recoil and still eliminate my target. But although the recoil is nearly unnoticeable, definitely be careful about the spread. If you're not careful and start opening up full auto all Rambo style for too long, your spread can really get away from you and you'll start missing everything that you're shooting at. Now I think you guys know that even though I may preach about standing still when you're firing to drastically improve your accuracy, I usually don't even do it myself because I'm so terrified of getting sniped, but that tactical wisdom definitely applies to the AC Dove. Stand still while you're firing if you can. Now in terms of attachments, I ordinarily run the stubby grip, laser sights, and muzzle brake, or heavy barrel. If you guys would like to know what all the attachments do to the weapons of the game, I've already made an in-depth video on that. There will be a link down below in the description if you really want to nerd out on the stats. But for me, the stubby grip and the laser sights are automatically what I equip on my assault rifles in general just because they suit my playstyle. The stubby grip is the most versatile underbarrel attachment, as in grip, and I always need that laser sight for hip firing because... I'm so careless, and I hit fire way too often in close quarters. But when it comes to the barrel attachment, there's a little bit more room for debate. Obviously running the muzzle brake is great on the AC Dove just because there's no downside or negative characteristics of the attachment, but I did notice that the heavy barrel squeezed a little bit more range out of the weapon. You will definitely notice that you're less accurate with a heavy barrel if you're running and gunning, for obvious reasons, but the added range is potentially worth it on maps with longer engagements where you can have the discipline to stand still. But don't expect to simply throw on the heavy barrel and somehow turn yourself into this AR wielding AC dub shooting machine that you can snipe people across the map because that's not the case at all. Switching from the muzzle brake to the heavy barrel I noticed was better for maps like Dust Bowl and Riptide but there is no getting around the fact that you still need seven shots to put somebody down at longer ranges. And just for my own amusement, I threw on the suppressor for a couple rounds just to see how it would perform and was not really all that impressed. I mean, it might work a little bit better on servers with lower player accounts where you can try to be all Sam Fisher stealth mode, but in general, I wouldn't recommend it. And that's about it. That's the AC Dub. It's a laser beam that is extremely easy to use and reloads quickly, but isn't quite a top tier AR. Just don't ever, ever even think about throwing gold camo on it. If you do that nonsense, you're disgusting and you should definitely uninstall. Peace out, nerds.